Claremont Maldives, add it to your bucket list. We have arrived. We're just like settling in slash me taking content. Can't wait to go swimming in there and maybe like go underneath our little hut, but I'll take you inside now. Welcome to our new room. Very bright outside. So this is the bed area with a television, which is interesting. I, I imagine it spins around so we can watch it in bed, which would be quite fun. And they have like Netflix and YouTube on there. And then these are, we've got one of these each, which is a wardrobe, which has a ton of space inside, as well as some full length mirrors, which are very much appreciate so maybe able to get some full-length um, pictures here for my LTK and here are our bags and a bar area this is a sunrise side no sorry sunset side we were on sunrise before with the beach villa and then so this is nice we can actually watch the sunset so we said we're going to Kata restaurant tonight um, so I'll take you along with me for that as well we'll go at 7 p.m. so we'll still have a little bit of light and um, that's where I went for my birthday meal so I'm really excited to show you that it's beautiful it's an Asian restaurant and it's just like decked with kind of almost like benches around the side for you to I'm just so excited can't even get my words out so anyway what I was gonna say is that um, there's a mini bar here and we might crack open something special and then go and watch the sunset out there it's absolutely huge this place and then this is the bathroom. You would have seen our last bathroom, which was massive. This is even bigger. This is like a bronze tub, definitely big enough for two people. So I think maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow night, we'll do that. And a little vanity area as well here. And then if you go over here, this massive his and hers sink, like everything. I'm big, this place is extra big. And then the ceilings are like wooden, very high loveliness. And then around here is the bathroom with a little hole into underneath, which is great when you're sitting on the bog, like that Pisces dreams. And then around here is the shower area with this kind of blue mirror. Now I'll show you outside, which is completely glorious and as ever, I'm on a massive shark hunt. And this is the outdoor area. I won't be able to do it justice at all. We've got a little seating area here. And should you wish a door into the bathroom. And just look how blue the water is. It's really clear now. That's so lovely. And then you just see for ages and ages and ages got these two loungers with almost like a beach mini beach running around the side here infinity pool and then this seating area which is where my partner's been sat and a little swing chair too now let me just take you over the other side oh bliss and it just drops into the sea which is very calm and clear at the moment. I asked our room host if there might be any sharks. He says, yes, maybe some baby sharks. But I imagine, oh, I just can't wait to get in with our snorkeling gear. It's gonna be so cute. So you can see that's Kata restaurant where we're going to. That's at the end bit is where I did my reel for the birthday and I sat there and everything. That's the airport, the little mini airport here that we'll be taking off from. And then that is just the wide, wide, wide ocean. But look, it's just so glorious. I've never been somewhere like this. Um, just spotted my first fish. This camera is really bad at balancing the inside and the outside, but there's a seating area here, a seating area here with all of our day bags that have just been transported over. Just did a little outfit change. This swimsuit is old and it's from ASOS Swim and it's one of their like crinkle one size fits all. Very low backed as well. I think we're gonna grab our snorkel gear and jump off the side, not jump, plop in probably. And we'd love to see some fish, some sharks. 
I think they only come out at night. They'll definitely come out at Kata tonight. But yeah, just incredibly happy staying hydrated and just keep saying it, but just like living in the moment, which we definitely don't do enough of at home. Yeah, ah, Palippos, Mustafa, 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 and jump in the sea. We're a bit scared actually now. Could you be on shark watch as well? That was so fun. We swam under our hut to the other hut. Somebody, our neighbours were talking about sharks so we thought we might see them but we didn't see any. Um, and yeah, I went all through the huts and then um, somebody gave us a tip off that there's like loads of fish around a certain area so I went to there. There was a shoal of like 200 which we kind of swam very close to. There's also a Corollarium which is an underwater gallery come museum um, that is that way towards the shore and my partner said he wants to try and swim there tomorrow which I'm a little bit scared about just because it's, it's quite a it's like a short way to go but it just feels very exposed and I'm, I'm like excited to sh see a shark but a little bit scared if we were to see one as well um, so I might be bold we'll see there's also like a rock in our neighbour's area and I feel like there'd be loads of fish there so you might go and try and do that tomorrow. Whew, it is hot outside. I just tried to shoot a TikTok and swiftly gave up. My hair is going crazy. I haven't done my hair since we've been here because there is no point. It's so warm, it's unreal. And then I've got a free people dress on with some top shop like sandly things. Um, it's my first time wearing this dress though. It's really cute. I love the embroidery as well. With some gold Missima jewelry. I this light is not very flattering. Um, there, that's a little bit better so you can see it. Whew, it is boiling. Too, too hot. I've got a little puddle collecting here from literally 60 seconds outside. It's um, nearly half six and it's unbearably hot outside, but we are sunset side, so I don't know. We're going to go try and film um, a little bit of vlog content. Um, bless my boyfriend. And. Um, some like real content as well down at the end of there's almost like a little pier type of thing at the end of the water bungalows so i'll show you that but i thought it make the most sense to cycle up there and then cycle to dinner just to limit contact outside honestly go outside for like a minute and then i need to lie down and cool down and relax and i feel like our aircon isn't touching the sides really um but yeah i just wanted to moan because it's so hard here. Okay, we're outside the front now. Unsurprisingly, a lot, a lot cooler here in the shade. I just tap. So bliss. Don't even mind that it's sweaty and that my hair's a bit funny. Very happy. We're gonna do a little ride down to the end of the pier for golden hour. And we haven't really had much of a successful sunset yet here in the Maldives. Like it's been good, but I think this might be our best one yet. So we're going to go outside onto our boat. Had the best sunset we have ever had, which is classic. Oh, good luck. Had a lot of good luck this holiday. So long may it continue. And now we're gonna ride to dinner and film a bit more content if I'm allowed.
coming from Paradise Maldives for the last time, I think. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here and just say thank you very much for watching. I just wanna show you my swimsuit as well. This is from Beach Flamingo, um, who do loads of different kind of high-end designer brands. This is Hansa G. I was worried it wouldn't fit my size 18 body but we're good to go. Oh, I think I showed you this a couple of vlogs ago. Well, this is it on in situ. But thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching my Maldives vlog slash vlogs. We might put it in two parts, we'll see. Pray for an okay journey back. It's 12 hours as a very tall, slightly chubby person. So we'll see how we go, but thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel if you are new here and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.